what's up you guys today i've got a deep core and glute and inner thigh and outer thigh workout for you a little bit of everything with your little mini bosu pods so get your pods and let's get started <music> all sorts of ways today we're going to use them right side up we're going to use them upside down we're going to use them as a ball we're going to do a lot of stuff with them so we're going to start by flipping them over and i'm going to put my feet on them scoop my bum nice and close um, to the pods here and i'm going to lay back and get ready for a bridge pressing the palms into the mat and rolling up scooping that tailbone squeeze and then rolling down. Think vertebrae by vertebrae. I'm just, I'm not arching the back here. I'm letting each part of my back touch the floor at a different time. I'm engaging through my abs, squeezing up through my glutes. Adding to the challenge here, you can bring the hands straight up. A little more of a core challenge for you. Squeeze and breathe. Think less about um, pushing your hips to the ceiling, but rather pulling your pubic bone towards your nose. That's gonna keep you from injuring your lower back. Squeeze it up. All right, guys, hold it up here. From here, I'm just going to rock the feet back and forth one at a time. So again, you can push those palms in or you can keep them up and we're gonna go right here. So I'm just doing a little march while I rock on these little baby BOSUs here. Oh, my hamstrings and glutes. Are you feeling this yet? I am. We're just kind of marching it out here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So what's happened here is our hips are probably starting to drop, so I want you to kind of reset, squeeze them back up, Pubic bone pulls towards your nose, and, and now it's burning even more. Keep going here. <sighs> Play with the tempo. Go fast and go slow. What hurts more? What do you like better? What do you feel more? Do you have one leg that's feeling it more than the other? I know I am. Last three, two, one, and let it relax. I'm going to come up. I'm going to put the bottoms of my itty bitty bosus together and I'm going to squeeze them between my knees here. Come back down and I'm going to press through a bridge here. Up and down. Up and down. Squeeze the ball. Think inner thighs and down. Up. Yes. Same rules apply. I'm not arching the back. I'm pulling my pubic bone to my nose, not the ceiling. I'm still letting each part of my spine hit the mat at a different time. Up. Guys, we are going to do abs after this. So you could say goodbye to the booty burn for just a little bit. Keep breathing here. We're almost done. Squeeze the uh, ball a little harder now. Oh, my inner thighs. Last two. And last one and let it relax. All right, I'm gonna take the, uh, keep it as a ball here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend fully back and behind my head here, and I'm just gonna roll up and roll down. Extend all the way back, elongate, and then roll up and down. Get a nice full body stretch each time. Guys, let that lower back come off the floor for that stretch. And then when it's time to come back up, I engage, I scoop it, I scoop the tailbone up off the ground and roll it up. If you are not able to roll yourself all the way up, come up as far as you can. So maybe it's just here. Again, squeeze the glutes, pull the pubic bone to your nose to engage the core. Let's do one more here. I'm extended, I'm disengaged, I'm engaged, and I roll it up and all the way down. Good, from here, I'm gonna come up 
to like sit on my tailbone and I'm going to roll it down to here, back up, twist and tap the elbow, up, half roll, up, twist, tap the elbow, other side. I'm squeezing my BOSUs together, creating a little heat in the chest and opposite side. I'm trying to really keep my belly button sucked in, down, oh my goodness, my abs are on fire, and down, up, oh I hear the, the crazy birds outside my house, the baby birds, almost done here, bring it back to center, little half roll, and up, all right, shake it out, I'm gonna take my little uh, bosus here, I'm gonna bring them back in behind, I'm going to press the palms into the little baby domes here. I'm gonna lift the hips off the floor and I'm just going to rock side to side, side to side. Don't collapse into those shoulders, push them down and out of your ears, guys. If this is just not working for you right now, you can try it from the elbow. You're just not gonna have that much range of motion to go from. So doing what we can, hardest version we can for as long as we can. Tone the quads, squeeze the glutes, abs are pulled in, keep breathing. Almost done. Breathe for three, two, one, and rest. All right, I'm going to sit my side of my bum here on one little pod. I'm gonna put the other leg on top. And I'm gonna do here is just lift and tap. Lift and tap, not so bad. Lift and tap. You can totally rest that foot down each time. Whatever works, I'm not collapsing into this shoulder here. Staying strong through that arm, pulling the belly button in, lift and tap, lift and tap. Just a few more of these, last three, got a little shake there, two, and one, good. Shake it out for just a second. From here, can you hear my neighbors making weird noises, I'm going to go up and over that little dome this time. All right, so we go up and over in three, two, one, over and over. So this is working the inner thigh and it is kind of killing me right now. This is awesome. Inner thigh on fire, up and over, up, and over. If you're starting to feel this too much in this shoulder, you can drop it down to the elbow. You've got 20 more seconds here, so just breathe. Last 10. Inner thigh is definitely working. Three, two, one, relax. All right, I'm gonna bring that foot on top of the BOSU now. I'm gonna stay where I am. I'm gonna see if I can balance this one out. I'm going to make a rainbow with the opposite leg, the top leg. So I'm gonna tap my heel back behind and then tap the toe. Heel and then toe. Heel, so we're balancing here. So we're working lots of deep core muscles, stabilizing muscles. My shoulder stable here. Heel and toe. Heel and toe. Oh my gosh. Heel and toe. Good. Breathe. We're almost done here. I'm going to torture your abs again in a second. Just a few more. Last three, two, 
one, and awesome. All right, I'm gonna put these together again like a little ball. Option here, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do, then you have the option to modify. So I'm gonna put them into a ball, and I'm gonna put it under my tailbone here. From here, I'm gonna bring it to tabletop, and I'm going to tap the toe. So if you guys are having trouble balancing on the ball here, let me show you the modification. Modification, keep going if you got that, would be to put them flat side down and put them right here. Do the same thing from here. I'm gonna go ahead and move myself back to the ball. So, got a little extra challenge for myself. We're tapping toes, beautiful. This feels awesome really feel the lower part of my abs just working hard. Last three, two, and one. I'm going to bring it now, squeeze it in, let it shake it out for a second. I'm going to go to a big, beautiful bicycle here. So I'm going to drop a leg down, let it come and sweep the floor and switch. So think the biggest most beautiful bicycle you've ever ridden. Oh my abs. Anybody else feeling that? Big, beautiful bicycle. Let the toes just graze the floor. Hold that belly button in. If you starting to feel this, straining your lower back, go ahead and just don't come as low. Maybe you were just here today. Whatever works. If you got this, Make that big, beautiful bicycle and let's set those abs on fire. <sighs> Keep breathing. Almost done. Last three, two, one. All right, reset. Stays right where it is. I'm going to lower my legs as low as I can control. And I'm gonna go in and out here. In and out, pull the abs in. Keep breathing. This is your last ab exercise. I know it's killer. We're gonna do that other inner thigh series on the other leg and then we are done with this entire workout and you can do whatever you want after this. You can even do it again. <sighs> Breathe guys, I know this one is rough. Don't hold your breath. It is very easy to hold your breath during core exercises. Part of the exercise is breathing. We are almost done. Last three, two, one, and let it relax. All right, I'm going to sit my bum on one BOSU. So we're going the opposite side. And then the other leg, uh, foot is just gonna sit up on top. And we lift, lift. Remember you guys have the option to drop down onto that elbow. There, I'm going to stay here, at least for this first part. Whoa, almost fell. Who's struggling with balance? I am a little. Or must stay engaged so I don't fall off my little pod here. We are almost done guys. Just keep breathing, tolerate that burn, that inner thigh is definitely working. Oh my gosh, last three, two, one, good. All right, I'm gonna come all the way down for the next one. Remember, we're just gonna go up and over tapping on either side of the baby bosu. Here we go. Tap back and front. Back and front. Pull the abs in and front. Oh, my inner thigh. Back and front. Just breathe. I'm gonna feel this inner thigh tomorrow. This one is feeling it way more than the other side was. Guys, remember, don't let that shoulder sink up into that ear. Keep it pressed down. Stay engaged through every part of your body here. 
Just a little longer, I promise this is almost over. Last five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let it relax, all right, it comes up. And we are going to do that rainbow with the opposite leg. So it's touching heel all the way over for the toe. Heel, toe, flex the foot. Heel, toe, suck the abs in. We're working on hip mobility here. Heel, toe, awesome. Heel, toe, just breathe, heel. Toe, heel, toe. We are almost done. Last 10, nine, five, four, three, two, and let it relax guys nicely done you guys i am definitely feeling a lot of tiny little muscles that i didn't even know i had that are firing and probably going to be a little sore tomorrow make sure you like this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next time